Hello there, this is Mr. Dolling from Musica Kirk Lees, and this is our fifth lesson for the tuba, tuba and bass clef. And today we're just going to focus on just the one piece, and this is the March of the Ants. It's quite long, uh, so I'm going to put each line up as it comes up. I'm going to have a go at playing through, if you have a listen. The things to look out for in this one, it's obviously lots of the different notes, lots of different rhythms, lots of quavers, crotchets, minims, semi briefs. Um, but we've also got dynamics, so where it says P underneath, that start, stands for piano, so we need to play that softly. And later on it says F, that stands for forte, which means loud. So we've got to vary our volume, which is quite hard to do when you're playing an actual beat as well. So, have a listen, I'll play it all the way through, and can you listen carefully to see if I actually get the right dynamics, the right volumes. <laughs> Okay, so quite a long piece that one. So what I suggest you do is that we break it down line by line just so we can get uh, our fingers around it. And there's a lot to deal with in that piece, isn't there? Okay, so what I want you to do, I'm going to press pause in a second and I want you to try it line at a time and go back and practice the line several times. And what we do when we practice, we focus on the bits which we find difficult. If there's a bit you find easy, well, that's fine. That will look after itself, but really, really work on the bits which are more of a challenge. So take your time, there really is no hurry. Um, keep it at that similar tempo if you can, because it's a march of the hand, so it's gonna sound like a left, right, left, right. And uh, press pause and see how we got on. And when you've managed to complete that, then come back and press play and we'll carry on. Okay, so that's not so straightforward, that piece is it. Lots of tricky things. If you haven't quite managed it, do not worry. That's, you've got plenty of time to practice at the moment, so the more you do, the easier it will become. And did you manage to get the dynamics in? Because actually that adds another layer of complication, doesn't it? So hopefully you have, and if not, we'll have a go at it anyway. So me and you, at the same time, let's do the March of the Ants at a March tempo, and we're gonna have the pianos, and the fortes as well and let's see how we get on are you ready after four one two three four <laughs> If you manage that, you've done very, very well. If not, do not worry. Take some more time to practice bit by bit by bit and you will get there. Check our website and our YouTube channel for more lessons coming up in the near future and look after yourselves.